Have you ever wondered if it's worth it to travel with a toddler? In this series, we travel around Florida to show you that it is. First, we go to Lion Country Safari to see some impressive African animals. Then we embark on a psychedelic celebration of the imagination in the Balloon Museum in Miami. If you're looking for activities to do with kids in Florida, you're in the right place. Hi everyone! Welcome to our South Florida vacation. On this video, we're going to be showing you some amazing places to visit with your family in South Florida. We're so excited. This is Vesper's first vacation outside of Puerto Rico. So today we're starting off our first day at Lion Country Safari and we're so excited. We're going to see so many fun animals and she knows all the names of the animals already. Vesper, what do you have here? Is this a doggy? Okay, let's go on the safari. On the safari, you drive slowly through different areas designed to look like African landscapes. Now we're entering the lion area. Let's see if we can see some lions. This feels like being in Jurassic Park. It's really fun. During the drive, you will get up close with a wide variety of large mammals. It's educational and fun to see them interacting in social groups in large spaces designed to make them feel at home. There's also a guided audio tour you can listen to so you can identify the animals and learn all about them. Look at the ostrich! Ooh. Vesper enjoyed getting to practice all the animal names she had learned in books and on TV. Is that a rhino? Rhino. Look, there's a baby rhino. How cute. Vesper, what do you see? Giraffes. Giraffes? Cool. Walking in the adventure park, and Vesper's excited she gets to run! Yeah! They also have a really cute mini golf course, which I remember when I was a kid, mini golf was my favorite thing pretty much. If you have time, make sure to go feed the lorikeets. You can buy little cups of juice for them, and it's delightful to watch them drink the juice and make their funny sounds. Lion Country Safari is a fun place to spend time with your family, learning about animals, walking through the beautiful gardens, and making memories. There's even a restaurant, water park, and amusement rides, so you could spend the whole day there. This is a really beautiful park. This is an amazing place to visit if you have older kids that are interested in animals. I think that the lorikeet feeding was definitely the highlight of it. They're such funny, cute birds, and it was so cool to be able to feed them the juice, and Vesper loved that part. She loves screeching like them. I think this gets a Vesper score of a two just because, oh, and also, just because the safari part, she was a little more interested in like trying to drive the car than seeing the animals outside. But for older kids, this would be a five. This would be super fun. So now we're going to go on to our next activity, the Balloon Museum. We're at the Balloon Museum in Miami. We're so excited. Vesper saw this on YouTube and she was mesmerized. I actually feel like the floor is moving. Like I really... Gabby says the floor is not moving, but it's just the illusion. You want to come up? Is this a little scary at the beginning? No. Yeah, you want to go through the balloons? Let's see if you can find some balloons. This is a super trippy, cool experience. Vesper is loving it. It's like a tiny bit scary for her. She's not even two yet, but she is having a lot of fun exploring. This museum has everything kids love. Rooms full of balloons and bubbles, colorful, soft, interactive sculptures, and cartoon-like landscapes. This is my favorite room so far. This is like so beautiful. It has this Adventure Time kind of feel to it, and we love Adventure Time. And Vesper's really enjoying this room. I think it's the 
the most toddler friendly room for sure. This is the wildest, most dreamlike thing I've ever seen in real life. Oh, wild. For us, the highlight was the immersive work Hyperstellar. It's a giant three foot deep balloon swimming pool with a music and light show. It's a surreal experience that really makes you feel like you're in a dream. This is amazing, it's unbelievable. After Hyperstellar, you find bubble and balloon exhibits that make you feel like dancing. So this room is a whole room full of these amazing selfie cubicles with like balloon designs. It's really amazing. This is something that I think that like teenagers and tweens would love to do especially. Wow, the Balloon Museum was so cool. I definitely think it's a five out of five for like any age group over one and a half. If your kid can walk. The first couple of rooms were like a little bit scary some of them there were some scary elements and sometimes if they're like big kids they could knock over a little kid so you have to be really really careful but the last three rooms with the uh, the giant swimming pool of balls that was like so amazingly dreamlike for me i just i loved it i loved it and also the the room with the balloons going up that was amazing it was like this amazing dance party for kids and it was just such a great bonding experience and vesper loved it we all loved it. It was so beautiful. Definitely, this is a five out of five. It's a must see. Coming up next, how to make the best of your time at the Miami Zoo and where to find dolphins and the best key lime pies in the Florida Keys. So yes, it is worth it to travel with a toddler. Not only do adults, including parents, deserve to enjoy new sights and sensations, every time you expose your kid to new experiences, they literally grow smarter. Thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next videos.